Compare and Contrast at Grammar Songs by Melissa. What does it mean to compare and contrast? More importantly, how can understanding how to compare and contrast help me when I read? Let's get started. Compare means to show how two or more things are alike. Com is a Latin prefix meaning with or together. And par is a Latin root meaning equal. So when you compare things, you show how they are equal with one another. Contrast means to show how two or more things are different. Contra is a Latin prefix meaning against or opposite. So when you contrast things, you tell how they are opposite or unalike. What? Huh? I know that may sound confusing, so let me explain. To compare is to tell how two or more things are alike. If I were to compare these two people eating lunch, I could say that they both are girls, they are both hungry, they are both smiling, and they both like to eat at Rosie's. To contrast is to tell how two or more things are different. For example, one girl is drinking while the other is eating. One girl wears her hair down while the other girl wears her hair up. One girl has no glasses, the other girl wears glasses. Oh, and one girl has a scarf, and the other has a necklace. And one girl has boots, and the other has shoes. Oh, oh, and one girl has on a skirt, and the other is wearing pants. <laughs> okay now, I think you are getting the idea. So compare means to tell how two or more things are the same. Yes, and contrast means to tell how they're different. Absolutely, and organizing your thoughts and ideas can help you when you compare and contrast. A Venn diagram is a handy tool people often use to organize their ideas when comparing and contrasting two things. The middle area is used to compare or tell how the two things are similar or alike. The outer areas are used to contrast or to tell how the two things are different. So if we were comparing the two diners at Rosie's, they are both girls, they are hungry, they are smiling, and they both like to eat at Rosie's. If we contrast the two diners, the girl on the left is drinking while the girl on the right is eating. The girl on the left has her hair down while the girl on the right has her hair up. The girl on the left wears no glasses, but the other girl does wear glasses. One girl has a scarf, the other a necklace. One boots the other shoes. The girl on the left wears a skirt while the girl on the right wears pants. There are probably even more ways to compare and contrast these two diners. Comparing and contrasting is easy. Oh, I'm glad you think so. We can use a Venn diagram to organize our thoughts. Yes, you can. Oh no, what's wrong? I think I understand how to compare and contrast people or things, but how does this help me when I read? You are asking an excellent question. Comparing and contrasting characters, settings, objects, subjects, and related concepts when you read can help you highlight details within the text and organize information for better understanding. When you are listening or reading, there are a number of signal words an author may use to indicate the relationship between two ideas, in this case to either compare or contrast. Some common signal words to compare are likewise, alike or like, in common, as well as, similarly, both, also or to, and same. Some common signal words to contrast are, on the other hand, even though or although, as opposed to, different or difference, in contrast, unlike or unalike, instead of, but, and however. Authors may use these words and others to help the reader identify a comparing or contrasting relationship. Oh no! How will we ever learn them all? <laughs> Relax. I don't think any one person knows every signal word. Signal words are simply tools you can use to help you identify when things are being compared or contrasted. Maybe we should practice. Great idea! 
Okay, let's practice. Let's read a short piece Zeke wrote about his pet stripes and freckles. We will look for ways to compare and contrast Zeke's pets. Remember, some signal words for compare are likewise, alike or like, in common, as well as similarly, both, also or two, and same. Some common signal words to contrast are, on the other hand, even though or although, as opposed to, different or difference, in contrast, unlike or unalike, instead of, but, and however. We want to help? Great! Let's read the text to learn more about stripes and freckles. Here we go. Stripes and freckles are the best pets in the world. Stripes is a cat, but freckles is a dog. They are both soft, friendly, and loving. Although Freckles has plain brown hair and floppy ears, Stripes fur is tan with brown stripes and his ears are pointy. Instead of a blue collar, Freckles wears a blue bow tie. Stripes and Freckles are alike in that they enjoy playing outside. The main difference is that Freckles likes to fetch sticks and catch frisbees while Stripes plays with a ball of yarn. Zeke did a great job writing about stripes and freckles. He compared and contrasted them in many ways. He even used some signal words. Let's reread Zeke's writing to look for examples of comparing and contrasting. When the statement is comparing or showing how stripes and freckles are alike, we will highlight the sentence in red. When the statement is contrasting or showing how stripes and freckles are different, we will highlight the sentence in blue. And don't forget to look for signal words! Oh yes, absolutely. We can circle the signal words we find along the way. Here we go. Stripes and freckles are the best pets in the world. I don't see any signal words! But he's telling how they're the same. He's comparing how they are both the best pets in the world. Very good. Let's keep reading. Stripes is a cat, but Freckles is a dog. Do you think this statement is comparing or contrasting Stripes and Freckles? Hmm. It's contrasting! I see the signal word, but. Stripes and Freckles are different because one is a cat and the other is a dog. Excellent! Let's keep reading. They are both soft, friendly, and loving. Do you think this statement is comparing or contrasting stripes and freckles? Hmm. It's comparing! I see the signal word both. They are the same because they are soft, friendly, and loving. Awesome job! Let's see what comes next. Although freckles has plain brown hair and floppy ears, stripes fur is tan with brown stripes and his ears are pointy. This sentence has a lot of information. Is it comparing or contrasting? Hmm. This is a contrast! I see the signal word although. Freckles has brown hair and floppy ears. Stripes has striped fur and pointy ears. Fantastic! Let's finish this paragraph. Instead of a blue collar, Freckles wears a blue bow tie. Hmm. Do you think this sentence is comparing or contrasting stripes and freckles? This sentence contrast instead of signals how they're different. Stripes wears a blue collar, but freckles wears a blue bow tie instead. Terrific! We have just one paragraph to go. Stripes and freckles are alike in that they enjoy playing outside. So what are your thoughts about this statement? Hmm. Alike means same. This sentence compares stripes and freckles. They both like to play outside. Yes, you are both doing a great job. Only one more sentence is left in Zeke's writing piece. The main difference is that freckles likes to fetch sticks and catch frisbees, while stripes plays with a ball of yarn. Is this sentence comparing or contrasting? Do you see any clues? Hmm. Difference is a signal word for contrast. Freckles likes to fetch sticks and catch frisbees. Stripes plays with a ball of yarn. 
Awesome job, you two! And Zeke did an amazing job comparing and contrasting his pets. Now it will be easy to use a Venn diagram to organize the ideas we read about stripes and freckles. If I compare and tell how stripes and freckles are alike, they are both the best pets, they are soft, friendly, and loving, and they both enjoy playing outside. If we contrast or tell how stripes and freckles are different, stripes is a cat, but freckles is a dog. Stripes has tan fur with brown stripes, but freckles has plain brown fur. Stripes has pointy ears, but freckles has floppy ears. Stripes wears a blue collar, but freckles wears a blue bow tie. And Stripes plays with a ball of yarn, while freckles fetches sticks and catches frisbees. <laughs> wow, you have certainly learned how to compare and contrast. Congratulations, you two. Thank you for joining me at Grammar Songs by Melissa. Enjoy other related videos at GrammarSongs.com.